What is going on everyone? Brenton Haynes here and welcome back to the Investor Preview. So today we're talking about a super exciting topic, my favorite one, how to get started investing in real estate. So let's dive in. Okay, but what I want you to do first, I want you to click that like button and I want you to subscribe to my channel. Could you do that for me? We'll wait. Still kind of waiting for you. I know you haven't done it. Come on. Cool, thanks. Totally appreciate it. Okay, so let's, let's start talking about how do we get started into investing in real estate. Now I want to clarify something. We're not talking about fix and flips. We're not talking about wholesaling. We're not talking about short-term rentals. Okay, we're talking about long-term wealth building rental real estate property, okay? So I'm a big multifamily guy. I help a lot of clients go from single family rentals and springboard them into something that generates more cash flow, more generational wealth, and into multifamily. That's the sector I love and I love helping out the entry level investor get to that point over several years and, and exchanging properties that just gets me going. I love it. So how do we do it? I'm going to try and explain this and put this in its simplest form for you it's stuff that you can get started on today. Okay. And what I love is when I, when I talk about all this stuff, find a mentor, find someone that's doing this stuff in your area. Okay, if you're in the Denver area, hit me up. I'd love to spend some time with you, share you some of my experiences, what I'm doing and what we're doing with our portfolio. My family's been investing in real estate for 60 years. We have almost 900 apartment units. I have some buildings owned with my brothers. So we're really, really involved in this stuff. And I've taken a lot of clients from single family into multifamily so I can help you out. So what's the whole point of investing in real estate? Passive income, wealth building. Okay. And how do we do that? Well, there's four returns in real estate. We're going to talk about cash flow. Okay. That's the number one thing everyone talks about. We're going to talk about appreciation, property going up in value. We're going to talk about equity buildup, which is you paying your loan down. And we're going to talk about tax shelter. That's everything that encompasses investing in real estate and the four returns. That's how we make money. Okay. So we'll get more in depth on that. I actually have a, a guide that will go through that with you. If you want to visit my website, you can go to www.realestate365.net and you can download a free investor's guide. Okay. This isn't complicated stuff. This isn't going to teach you how to launch a rocket to the moon. This is the basics. This will get you started. What you need to think about, hopefully stimulate some ideas and keep you motivated and going. Okay. But first things first, find a mentor. Okay. Find someone that's doing it. I love apprenticeships. Books are great too, but real life application is where it's at for me. That's how I learn. Okay. So let's jump in it. Okay. Step one, you got to have good credit. So if you don't have good credit, let's get it fixed and let's start building your credit. Okay. I'm not a credit repair guy, but there's many ways to do it. And there's many good companies out there that'll do it. So if you got bad credit, game over. Step one. So work on your credit. Okay. Real estate works off leverage. We need to get a loan. And if we don't have good credit, we can't get a loan or we're not going to get a good loan. We're going to pay a higher interest rate. That's going to kill many deals for me. Okay. Not going to do it. Got to start with your good credit. Okay. Next you need money. Okay. You can't get into real estate with no money down. Okay. Those deals really, if ever exist. I've never seen one. I've been in this business over 20 years. I've never seen it. That, that's like, it just doesn't happen. It's like a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Not going to happen. So you need to save your money. Live like you're poor until you're not. Okay. Traditional deals, anywhere from five to 25% down, depending on what type of deal you're doing and where you're at and how many other properties you own, if any. Okay. So save your money, get that top ramen out, Quit eating filet mignon, okay, and start thinking about your future and save. Come on, you can do it. Okay, next, get connected with a great lender, okay? Work with mortgage brokers, your bank, your, your credit union, get pre-qualified. They're going to analyze your credit. They're going to look at your reserves and your money you have on hand, and they're going to tell you what a loan's going to cost you and what you can qualify for. 
Find a good lender. When you find a good one, don't let go of them. They're going to help springboard you into other deals, okay? Now, speaking of other deals, your first one is going to be hard. Don't give up. Most investors give up after one. Don't. You got all your systems worked out after your first one. You know what to expect, okay? So keep pushing through and work with a great lender. A great finance guy is really going to help you out. Now, once you get your lender and you got your income, your credit, your money, okay, you need to be researching areas. Now, I get a lot of questions. Brandon, there's this great deal in Florida. Hey, there's a good deal in Texas. Or, hey, I found this thing in Oregon. It's like, you know what? I, I don't really care. I like to invest in my backyard. That's where I know. That's where I'm driving by properties all the time. I can kind of keep it on a short leash. I love that. Okay, start there. Don't, don't go anywhere within that you got to drive more than like 45 minutes, maybe an hour tops, because you want to be able to drive by that property. You want to check it out. If you got to fly to it for your first deal, you're not setting yourself up for success. Start locally. You can find good deals right in your backyard. You don't need to spend money on airfare, you know, hotels and travel out to it, okay? That stuff doesn't work with me. Stay local, okay? Research your areas. Find a good realtor in your area that really knows the market that you can just soak up that knowledge from, okay? Get on those email blasts and all that stuff. Really understand your market and where it's going. Look for those up and coming areas, okay? Don't buy in prime areas and don't buy in, in the worst areas. Find those areas that you feel like is shifting and is going to springboard you into appreciation and you're part of that upswing, okay? Look for the opportunity there. We're investors. Don't worry about the obstacles. Focus on the opportunity, okay? Next, you're going to start making offers, okay? And I say it plural, offers. You're not going to get your first deal off your first offer, okay? You're typically not going to offer full price either, okay? You're an investor. You're not going to pay retail for some of this stuff, you know, unless the property is just tremendously you know, underpriced and the broker didn't know how to price it. But you're probably going to have some competition there as well and it's probably going to bump it back up. So, you know, your first deal may take 25 offers. Maybe it takes 50. Maybe it'll take 100. But realize one thing. You make your money in the buy, okay? It's all about location. They always talk about location, location, location real estate. Yes, that's that's true. You want, you want to buy in a good location, okay? We just talked about that. You want to find an upcoming area. Good location, okay? But the second thing is this is what most real estate brokers don't talk about and investors don't talk about as much. It's the buy. You make your money in the buy. If you got a bad buy, okay, and you're feeding that property, it's going to be hard to recover from. So be patient. Find that right buy. You can do it. You can sniff it out. Be patient. Don't get emotionally attached. This is money. This is how you're going to make money, okay? So it's going to be hard at first. You're working full time. You're trying to transition into in investing in real estate. It's okay. It's like working two jobs, but do it. Stay in it. Don't give up, okay? So now you got a property under contract. Do your inspections. Do your due diligence. Bring that home inspector. Who does he recommend? Does he recommend a roofer, a plumber, um, HVAC guy? really get to know and understand that property, okay? Your contract's gonna build in time periods. Take the time, do your homework, get the contractors out there, okay? It's building your team. You need to build your team and find your right vendors, okay? Your attorneys, your CPA, your roofer, your, your paint guy. When your friends ask you, you're gonna go, I got a guy for that, and you're gonna get excited because you've done your homework and spent the time and research and found the right guy, okay? So. When you're under contract, the next thing you got to worry about is closing that deal. Okay, you're going to have your, your mortgage guy, your underwriters, they're going to ask for a ton more information. They're going to verify it. And they're going to ask for explanation on this and that and be prepared for it, okay? It's coming, especially post-COVID-19. Okay, they're getting real down to the nitty-gritty on it. Just prepare for it. Don't give them anything more than what they ask for, okay? So narrow it down on those questions, get it to them, turn it around quick, get that deal closed real quick and then you're going to renovate you're going to go through so now on your first deal you don't want to buy an old dilapidated house okay unless you're a contractor and you know what you're getting into don't do it look for something that just needs a little bit of lipstick paint and carpet a little freshening up cleaning goes a long way now 
Don't be a perfectionist, okay? You're gonna kill your deal if, if you're a perfectionist. Don't over-improve the property. Your tenant's not gonna care, okay? They may even trash the place a little bit. You're not gonna live there, okay? It's your return on your investment. Focus on the, the numbers and make sure the numbers make sense, okay? So after you renovate, you're gonna get a tenant in there. Qualify them, do your homework, okay? You wanna get them in quick, but just don't throw anyone in. Do your homework, find that right tenant. Do your background, okay? It's gonna be worthwhile. You don't wanna get a tenant that, that's gonna trash the place, not pay, that's gonna go through the eviction process, that's not what you want on your first deal, okay? So your team's gonna help you. So great places to find tenants, Craigslist. Okay, I think that's an obvious one for most people. Another one, Facebook. I like Facebook. I can click on those profiles depending on their security settings and kind of get to know them a little bit more. Okay, I can see if they have some mutual friends or you know, what they like, don't like, things like that. Maybe I can build some bridges there and stuff like that. Uh, Zillow is another good opportunity as well. I'm not a huge fan of Zillow, but I know they have a good back end for you as far as for landlords. Okay, so do a little homework there. I have staff that, that manages my property, pre-qualifies them, and, and we have all our guidelines of what we look for in tenants, okay? So line yourself up, do your homework on that stuff. This is exciting stuff. This, is, this, this can change the, the direction of where your family goes for generations if you do it right. Be patient, do your homework, you can do it. Reach out if you want some help. I, I would love to connect with you if you're in the Denver area. And, and see how I can help and, and throw my experiences in and what I've done and, and what I've seen, okay? And just know I'm learning every day too and things are changing, especially with the way the markets are and this whole pandemic and uh, there's some new stuff out there, but you know what? Don't worry about the obstacles. You're an investor, you focus on opportunity. So keep looking for the opportunity, you can do it. So that's what I got for you guys today, like I said, Download my book, www.realestate365.net. Hit like on, and subscribe to my channel. And dig through my channel. There might be some other helpful stuff there as well. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.